Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Kerry McKinnon, who just won the Libertarian Party nomination for Lieutenant Governor of Texas. Now, a lot of people think, Texas, big on guns and freedom, but still some work to do, right, Kerry? There's a lot of work to do. We, um, in Texas, we don't have constitutional carry. We don't have uh, a lot of open carry, and we need to introduce legislation to make that happen. Um, several states have better gun laws than we do. For me, I don't know why we need any gun laws to begin with. <laughs> you know, I mean, there should be no laws. It just should be your right. So I'm going to work as lieutenant governor to repeal those laws that infringe upon our freedoms of self-defense by any means necessary for preservation. If you can afford it, buy it. So you've just been handed a, a beautiful opportunity, a great platform. What are your goals with this race, aside from winning? Because we hope you can win. We, 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 we're right now waiting on finding out who the, the, the top of the ticket nominee is going to be. But in terms of the message and, and the impact that you want to have with the campaign, what are your goals? What are your priorities? So we're going to talk about um, police brutality that happens and the abuse that happens um, within that. We're going to talk about um, the drug reforms that we want to make, which is completely decriminalization of drugs, not just marijuana. Across the board, marijuana, mushrooms, anything, you can, it's your body, you can do with what you want. We're going to move into a reform or elimination of the uh, CPS. We're going to talk about eliminating property taxes in the state of Texas. Because if you have to pay a tax on a piece of property that you own, you don't own that piece of property, you're merely renting it from the state. And we talk about all taxation is theft, but we're going to have to move to the point of where we as a party, push that as a message across the board. We can no longer be milk toast libertarians. We have to do be balls to the wall. Cannot believe I just said that. We, we have to really put our ass on the line for our principles and speak completely and totally about a liberty without any, without any, without any excuses or apologization. We have to do it, say this is what liberty is, this is what liberty means, this is what you want. And I think, I think Texans are going to vote for that because Texans want liberty. Well, now on the drug issue here in Texas, this is where Texas is notoriously anti-freedom. Got a little experience on that myself. But no. is, that, is that something that you, that you think most Texans are going to go for? Or is there still an anti-drug culture here that, that, that has to be changed to achieve drug freedom? I think there's an anti-recreational drug culture, of course. I think the uh, medical drug culture of where you're allowed, you should be able to treat your, your body, your uh, illness any way that you choose, is, is gaining popularity leaps and bounds. We're going, as libertarians, we're going to ask for the moon and the stars and everything. Even if every libertarian that is on the ticket gets elected, we will not have the majority. But a lot of people don't realize that in Texas, the lieutenant governor is the most powerful man in the state. More powerful than the governor. The governor simply can uh, pardon, uh, elects the secretary of state, line veto, can call special session, and basically is just like Rick Perry used to be, the pretty boy representing the party. Um, and declare war on behalf of the Republic of Texas. That is true. So we want to make sure that in our platform, we have new platform issues about um, it's about the individual's freedom, not the citizen's freedom, not the American freedom's freedom, not Texas, a Texan's freedom. It's the individual's freedom. So that individual has those liberties un, um, uninfringement by anyone, but especially the government, especially the state. Now, we have a great tradition in the Libertarian Party of coming up with our own shiny badges. And on your delegate badge, you also have your official candidate ribbon, as well as an unofficial, naughty Libertarian ribbon. What does that mean? Well, <laughs> as you know, I am the uh, vice chair for the National um, Caucus of Outright Libertarians, which is uh, the GSM Caucus, or the Gender and, Gender and Sexual Minority Caucus for the Libertarian Party. And... So, we think that you should have and be able to have all of your kinks all of the time. So, we want to make sure that within that naughty caucus that liberty and freedom is not a dirty word. Sometimes, so often we hear it's like, well, 
you can have this. Here's, here's, here's one cookie. That's all you're going to get, Adam. And Adam wanted a baker's dozen. I mean, he's greedy. He wants all of your liberty all of the time, right? But too often, we're lucky if the state wants to give us the crumbs. And we are no longer willing to take the crumbs. We will stand up for liberty and fight for freedom across the state of Texas from the tip of the panhandle down through the valley to El Paso over to the coast and in East Texas. And all of the candidates are going to make Texas. I'll just make a prediction. We will have victories in Texas and we will have numbers that you have never seen and Texas will never have to worry about ballot access because many of our statewide candidates will be in double digits if not win elections. You know, I got to hand it to the Outright Caucus and the Libertarian Party for advancing the messaging of the party on this issue. Using the term GSM instead of this uh, acronym that's trying to identify lots of LGBTQ, da da da, and there's so many, right, even he's rolling his eyes. It changes, it, every, it changes every time. But GSM, gender sexual minorities, that, that just is so inclusive and really gets to the heart of what's it, the individual rights of the issue of this case. So, we yeah, are because, you know, we have to. We have to include freedoms that deal with sex work. We don't do that in this party. What we do is, is we often take a moral stance. And we talk about um, the other parties taking a moral stance when it comes to our, our liberties and freedoms in regards to um, the war on drugs. But we're not willing to stand up and talk about the, the liberties and freedoms of, of, of the sex workers that are out there. Many of, our, many of the trans individuals um, across the country are arrested for walking while trans because cops assume that they are um, prostituting. And look, if you have a good and service and you can sell it, it's your good and service. That's what the free market means. And as libertarians, we have to stand up for the free market whether we agree with it morally or not. Ladies and gentlemen, Kerry McKinnon, he is the Lieutenant Governor nominee for Texas for the Libertarian Party. He is a naughty libertarian with his balls to the wall and his ass on the line. And I hope to see a lot more candidates like him representing the LP. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain based solutions including DTube and you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.